Hello, my name is Michael Turner, and I'll be discussing the different types of parenting styles. You have permissive, authoritarian, and authoritative. The first one I'll be touching on is permissive. This one is characterized as being very involved with their children, um, expressed with parental warmth, responsiveness. Um, they are highly responsive. They have low expectation and discipline, self-regulation. Um, the thing with this parenting style is they pretty much let their child do as they please, um, not a lot, of, a lot of limitations on them. This can cause the children to um, act out in a way um, without any restrictions. I kind of compare it to like Dr. Phil when you see the parents with the children going on there and they do all kind of crazy stuff. They say they can't control their children. It kind of stems from that parenting style of letting them do what they want. So when they get older, they are very hard-headed and stubborn. They don't listen. The second one I'll be touching on is authoritarian. This is because I said so. That is pretty much their slogan um, and what they run with. Um, authoritarian, high demands on the children, strict rules, little open dialogue. Um, it's very rigid, unreasonable expectations. They want them to be the best of the best and never failing. They can't do anything wrong or it's dire consequences. Um, this is very detrimental. It can cause anxiety. Um, they can cause their child to rebel. Um, this here. So the child, or in turn into adolescence, they'll be very rebellious, not listening, sneaking out of the house, and they're not able to do what they want. So they find other means, and they may engage in risky behavior um, and things that they shouldn't be doing. Because they, their parents don't have discussions with them. They, it's because I said so. They don't reason with them or try to explain anything to them. So they may go on the course and find other means to get information. The last one is authoritative. This one is pretty much about trying to understand your child. You have dialogue with them. Um, they do set high standards, but it's a child-centered approach. I try to understand their feelings. Um, try to talk to them. They um, have warmth responsiveness, um, and democratic reasoning. So they're able to communicate, listen, you know, and try to have that dialogue with their children. Um, this is one of the best ones. This is the best one that's, you know, pretty much the standard um, because the children um, usually have high self-esteem, able to go into different settings and have, have high self-worth, their assertiveness, and they usually are in a good state of mental health. Those are all three. Thank you.